Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chat YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there, guys. My name is Ghost Child Dogster Ball, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. This is a big discussion video, this one. After the opening of Steel Curtain just a year or two ago at Kennywood, it's always been thought of about what the next coaster project could be for the park. And you know what? I thought, let's let's open up the discussion doors, let's get our thinking caps on, and let's start discussing ideas. And a few sites as well. So what I've done is, first of all, we're going to recap the coaster lineup. I'm going to show you three different sites um, of development. And I'm also going to share my thoughts on what different types of coasters could go in each area. Now, there is going to be differences between each of the areas. There is going to be a difference. And I'm going to share why I think these differences could occur. Now, before we get started with all of that, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video, guys. We are getting closer and closer to 2,200 subscribers. I'm aiming to hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of this year. It'd be lovely to hit it before Christmas break. I mean, it'd be lovely to do that. So please, 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 if you're not subscribed, it would mean the world to, to Coaster Child to me uh, to hit the subscribe button and get this channel up and up and up. Also guys, if you check the description down below, you can check out the link to the Discord server where you, yes you, the Coaster Child fan base, can be a part of the Chal Nation with interactive videos and interactive voice chats with me on and off camera. Also guys, links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram and Snapchat are also in the description down below. And there's also a link to submit your video ideas, whether it's a next five years video idea, whether it's a review, a fact file, a reaction theme park, a non-theme park reaction video as well, then go and submit it in the video, uh, the Google Forms link for your video ideas. We're going to be pre-recording lots of these in the summer, so get them in now because yours could be in during the summer break. And for now, guys, let's talk about, first of all, the current coaster lineup at Kennywood before we start predicting sites for the future. So Kennywood currently has eight operating roller coasters, um, eight ranging from family to thrill. That's exactly their lineup. It's a, it's a really balanced lineup. So uh, obviously you've got Exterminator, which opened back in 1999. It's an indoor Revachon spinning coaster, an enclosed spinning coaster by Revachon. You've got Jack Rabbit, which operated uh, which opened back in 1920. It's a classic terrain wooden coaster built by Charlie Muck and designed by John A. Miller. You've also got Lil Phantom, which is your Molina and Sons Molly Coaster, the low part model, which opened back in 1996. Uh, you've also got Phantom's Revenge, which opened back in 1991. It's an Arrow Hyper Coaster, same as the big one at uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, now, of course, the original four loops were removed. Uh, it was originally built by Arrow, however Morgan was brought in to make the modifications during the 2000 and 2001 off-season. Uh, so, for, so in the 2000 to 2001 off-season, they removed the original four loops. The height remained the same as the lift till was unchanged. Uh, the drop increased from 225 feet to 228 feet, so an increase of 3 feet. The length was increased from 3,000 feet to 3,200 feet, an extension of 200 feet. The original ride time was 2 minutes 15. The trains were modified, removing the older over-the-shoulder restraints. So, very, very interesting there, stats-wise, with Phantom's Revenge. Uh, they then introduced Racer as well, which is in 1927, before Phantom's Revenge. This is the Mobius wooden coaster, again, built by Charlie Mack and designed by John A. Miller. you got Skyrocket, which opened back in 2010. It's a premier Skyrocket 1. Uh, it was SBNO for a time during the 2019 season. In fact, from 2018 to 2019. And, um, you know, it spent that sort of period SBNO while modifications and maintenance were being done. You also obviously got Steel Curtain, their latest roller coaster, the SNS coaster, the multi loop from SNS, opened back in 2019 on the former Log Jammer Flume site. And then you've also got Thunderbolt, which opened back in 1924. Again, this is built by Andy Vettel, and once again, this is a terrain wooden coaster. So a good range of wood and steel, family and thrill at Kennywood Theme Park. Now let's have a look at three particular sites of development that I could see put in with new major roller coasters. So let's start off with site number one, and this is the site of Jack Rabbit, the 1920 built wooden terrain 
coaster. Now this is quite a compact footprint in my opinion. This is quite a compact footprint. So it's going to take something quite special to replace Jack Rabbit. And I think that I've circled part of the, the Penny Arcade as well. As well as a, um, what looks like a little building in the trees. There. I think that's the station for Jack Rabbit. So, um, you know, you've got the station in there. You've got... Um, well, I think there's a station building inside, on the other side of the uh, of the site as well. I'm not sure um, where the station is, which side it is, but uh, there's another building either way, which will get taken out, in my opinion, as well anyway, so it didn't really matter which side of the station it is. Um, but yeah, there is the station, there's a building in the trees, and there's also the Penny Arcade. Now, I reckon all of that's going to get removed, and I think there's a couple of possibilities here they could put into this site. Now, one of the main possibilities, in my opinion, is the Rocky Mountain Construction Raptor Coaster. Now, this it's a compact thrill coaster, perfect for smaller theme parks in the world. Um, you know, I, th I always thought in the UK this would be good for like Flamingo Land and Drayton Manor. You know, the compact thrilling Raptor coasters. Um, so, you know, the Raptor coaster is a compact footprint, low capacity, but I tell you what, it's got the thrills, and it's not that expensive either. It's not going to be the most expensive addition to Kennywood. So, I reckon that Kennywood could really benefit from a Raptor coaster. Now, looking at potential other options, again, Jack Rabbit is a wooden coaster. So one thing they could do is bring in Gravity Group and do something similar to Wood Express at Parc St. Paul in France. And that's bring in the Gravity Group wooden coaster for families. Because of course Jack Rabbit is a family terrain wooden coaster. It's a classic one as well. So I think you could pay homage to Jack Rabbit. Maybe with the name. Uh, maybe with the theme. A similar theme to Jack Rabbit. Um, but something like that. Just something that pays homage to Jack Rabbit. Or maybe it's the successor to Jack Rabbit. And sort of pay homage to Jack Rabbit in the queue line for the ride like with some classic photography or like the storyline for the introduction of this gravity group wooden coaster like the jack rabbits entertained for so many decades um and now you see this this new creation taking over the jack rabbit site and paying homage to its legacy with new drops turns and twists uh, so whether that is something like oscar's wacky taxi or whether it's something like mind blower at fun spot america with the inversion added to it who knows but i reckon maybe the gravity group family wooden coaster something like the oscar's wacky taxi or the wood express or even you could throw in a jack rabbit style layout with a custom twist and that's the spike element similar to what you see on switchback at zdt's amusement park so maybe that would be nice a wooden boomerang coaster that would be a wonderful homage to Jack Rabbit if you go with a similar type layout and then have the, the twist at the end with the spike uh, and sort of have you go through this Jack Rabbit inspired layout backwards. So I reckon that could be a good idea, you know. I think that would be a wonderful idea. So, um, I mean, that that's and you've got, you got the site for it, so they could definitely play with the site a lot with that idea. So I think there's real potential here with the Jack Rabbit site, and I reckon that whatever it will be, it will pay homage to Jack Rabbit one way or the other, whether it is the gravity group with the spike at the end to pay homage to Jack Rabbit's uh, inspired layout or a raptor coaster to bring a new modified single rail coaster to this classic coaster's site. Moving into site number two, and this is around the Pittsburgh Plunge attraction. And of course, you can take out the swing shot and the wave swinger as well. However, those will probably be uh, relocated somewhere else in the park. Maybe, I mean, I'm looking on the, the Google Maps image that I put on your screen that I'm looking at myself uh, while I'm talking about this. Um, if you put maybe the wave swinger or the slingshot sort of opposite Black Widow in like the grassland, you can see sort of next to the yellow uh, marked area, uh, sort of opposite the marked area in yellow. Uh, so that would be a nice site for one of the rides or maybe put them somewhere else in the park that you can't see on screen right now. So, you know, there's definitely room to put these attractions somewhere else in the park, maybe take up those pieces of land as well. However, you know one of the first predictions I'm going to go for with this, an RMC Raptor Coaster, because uh, the Raptor Coaster, I think it's just something Kennywood would add, and I think this is another perfect site for it. I'm not going to talk too much about the Raptor Coaster, because you know my thoughts from the first site. However, I think the Raptor Coaster, again, this would be the perfect site for it, but maybe not the prototype. Maybe something custom made, something custom in terms of layout wise. Um, so maybe you have the sort of elements of the prototype layout, however throw in some extra turns or an extra inversion here and there. So uh, this is definitely, you know, potential for development. I mean whether you take out the whip next to it as well, I haven't circled that, but whether you take that out as well uh, to provide an extra turn 
uh, over the pathway? We don't know. Uh, but I think another prediction you could go for, and this doesn't include the swing shot or the wave swinger, is the Mac Power Splash, because of course the Pittsburgh Plunge is a water ride. So you're going to have to do a like for like swap. And I think the Mac Power Splash would be a wonderful way to highlight uh, the. Um, the, the wonderfulness, shall we say, of, of this attraction. And I think you could use the entire site. You can see this little structure sort of um, opposite the end of that Pittsburgh Plunge pit, shall we say. Um, and I think that overall, you could see the Pittsburgh Plunge being replaced by this Mac Power Splash. I mean, you could have the spike uh, going up at one end uh, where the turnaround section is, and then you sort of have the splash down element where the Pittsburgh Plunge area is. Then you have that little sort of air little airtime hill uh, with the station, and maybe that building right at the opposite end of where the spike would go on that turnaround section is sort of where sort of sort of where the other spike is, and you have the station where the structure is, and sort of before you go into that sort of pit which should be filled with water so i think there's a real potential here for a nice splash down element maybe some interaction with black widow maybe black widow gets a bit soaked in that um we'll have to see but i reckon there's potential here for a map power splash and i think it'd be a wonderful addition to the park and i think that they do really cool with this with this modern day water attraction finally into site number three so this is gonna be uh, the Skyrocket site. Now, the reason why I've circled this, and I know they've had a year of maintenance issues, I know they've had a year of SBNO, and they've got it fixed now, I just don't know if Skyrocket's going to stay past the next few years. I reckon, even though they've sorted out some of the problems, I personally feel like it may go through a bit of a maintenance trouble again over the next few years. I just have a gut feeling about Skyrocket. And... I reckon that this will pave the way, and I think that a perfect replacement, I mean, you don't have to include the old mill site into this, however, if you include the old ATM, put that somewhere else in the park, and you sort of had that sort of grassland where the AT, about behind the ATM, and you had the grassland behind the old mill that sort of extended, and uh, you know, you've got a, a decent plot of land there, a really good plot of land. And I reckon uh, something that would be really cool for this park is, again, you've got to look at different manufacturers. So I think Premier Rides could be a possibility. However, I would like to go more along the line with the SNS. And, you know, they've worked with SNS before. They've definitely worked with SNS before. And I, I personally reckon they could do an SNS air launched coaster, something like Max Force at Six Flags Great America. And the reason why I say something like Max Force is because it's a different type of launch coaster. It would bring something completely different to Kenny Ward, an air compressed launch coaster. In fact, I believe it will be the first of its type of launch coaster, the air compressed launch coaster, in the region, in the state. That's the proper word for it in America, the state, not the region. We call it region in the UK. <laughs> uh, but in the, in the state, I mean, like... It'll be the first of its kind air compressed launch coaster in the States. So I personally reckon that this is a potential opportunity here for development. Apart from that, I could also see an RMC Raptor going here. I could see the Mac Power Splash going here. I could see maybe a free spin, but that wouldn't take up that much plot of land. Maybe they go with maybe a, a family launch coaster, multi-launch coaster by Intamin. Maybe something like the, the Yukon Quad at, La, at La Paul. Because you've got to think Steel Curtain is more of a thrill coaster. So maybe the next coaster they have will be more of a family thrill. And something like Yukon Quad at La Paul or Juvelen at the Summerland in Denmark. Uh, like the family quad bike launch coaster, something that I want to see at Chessington World Adventures in the next few years on that plot of grassland opposite Dragon's Fury. I think that something like that would be good for the family market. It's a family multi-launch coaster. It's perfect for the family market and the family target audience. And also it's a, a multi-launch, so it sort of solves the purpose of Skyrocket really. So I reckon that that would be a wonderful addition to that Skyrocket site as well as the um, sort of overall, you know, overriding opinion, in my opinion, which is the um, the Max Force Star Coaster, the air compressed launch coaster, and again, SNS. That experience of working with SNS could override the decision, in my opinion, with this site. So there's plenty of possibilities with the Skyride site, uh, Skyrocket site, uh, but overall, I think either one of them could be thrilling or family thrilling additions to Kennywood Theme Park. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. That is looking at the predictions for the next roller coaster at Kennywood. Make sure you share your predictions in the comments down below. 
And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep on the coast alive. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrilling, fantastic day. Well, hey, for Kennywood.